Hello, it's Jim Hutchins for the Jerusalem Connection Spot Report for this week. Uh, I want to refer to an article by Earl Cox. Earl's a personal friend. He's a Christian Zionist. He's a uh, international broadcaster and journalist. Uh, loves Israel. Writes for the Jerusalem Post. And Earl wrote uh, an article last week concerning a very uh, controversial subject. And I'm glad he wrote it. He wrote it uh, with connection to the to the Christ at the Checkpoint conference that was held from uh, March 7 through 10. He said this. As I pinned this article at the article, the Christ at the Checkpoint Conference is gathering steam, and many CINOs, C-I-N-O's, are Christians in name only. <laughs> Christians in name only are coming together in the very land where Jesus was born, where he was born to Jewish parents in a town called Bethlehem, which is located in the land deeded by covenant, eternal covenant of God, a land deeded to the Jews by God himself, by which, uh, but which is now occupied by Palestinians. Many of those in gathering, uh, many of those gathering for this heretical conference have been duped into believing that God no longer considers the Jews his chosen people or Israel his special land. My Bible teaches that God made an eternal covenant with the Jewish people and eternal means forever. Those who embrace replacement theology have motives which are antithetical to the Word of God. The Bible describes these peoples as wolf in sheep's clothing who have taken great liberty in rewriting and wrongly interpreting the Bible to fit their anti-Semitic agendas. Anti-Semitic agendas. Why else would the organizers of this conference be beholding to the Palestinian occupied town of Bethlehem? <clears throat> He says, uh, replacement theology is an anti-Semitic attitude of jealousy and hatred, which states that whatever, wherever God talks about Israel and the Jews, he's really talking about Christians and the church. There's absolutely no place in the touchstone of Christianity and the Holy Bible asserting that the doctrinal position of the church replaces Israel. Christ at the Checkpoint. An exercise of, of evangelical anti-Semitism. That should be an oxymoron, but sadly it's not. <clears throat> it's going on today. And why is it? How is it that that could come out of the evangelical framework? The evangelical position that so highly regards the Bible. May I suggest to you it's because of the apathy and the political correctness of many evangelical pastors. <clears throat> They're not talking about Israel. It's a hot button issue. They don't they want to avoid it. They deal with it politically correct. They're going to deal with uh, issues such as how to be happy, how to increase your self-esteem, deal with multiculturalism or dealing with despair or something like that. But the substance of what the scriptures teach. <clears throat> Expository preaching is a lost art. We're hearing nothing but themes that are lifted up, propped up with a few scriptures. But the exposition of Romans 9 through 11, when's the last time you heard something like that? I'm reminded of the passage in Ezekiel 34, the false shepherds, and God's got some harsh words for false shepherds. It's a sad case, but our shepherds are giving our the sheep spiritual pablum not like the good shepherd the good shepherd we're told in john chapter 10 where jesus says i'm the good shepherd i know my sheep and my sheep know me <clears throat> my sheep listen to my voice i know them they follow me and i give them eternal life and they shall never perish no one can snatch them out of my hand sadly there have been many solid evangelicals snatched out of the hand of the false shepherd. And they were, they're guided with that kind of spiritual nonsense that is prevalent today. God give us grace to look to the good shepherd and the substance that comes from his word. Till next week, Oki of Oshilo, 
on to Messiah comes, Yivareka Yahweh. Yahweh bless you, bless those you love, and bless those who love you.